Cześć, witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie w, dru w drugim, że tak powiem, w szóstym odcinku The Walking Dead, w drugim odcinku epizodu drugiego. Dzisiaj kontynuujemy epizod drugi. Tak jak widzieliście to w poprzednim odcinku tego... Kurde! No, no. Graj! No. What the hell? No, graj. Jak to widzieliście w tym poprzednim odcinku epizodu drugiego, E, niestety <głos> urwało mi się tam pod koniec nagrania, bo w zasadzie jak widzieliście ten moment, kiedy ten gościu jakby zabijał tam, czy tam atakował Katię, to to naprawdę to było, e, tam zostało dwie minuty do końca odcinka, więc wiele nie straciliście, po prostu tam mi się coś przerwało i niestety nie mogłem. E, ale teraz już kontynuowy. Ciekawe na jakim momencie się tam, tutaj... O! Akurat idealnie! Gdzie powinno się odblokować? I właśnie nie widzieliście, ale po tym momencie właśnie. Właśnie, e, tam po prostu po tym momencie, kiedy ten e, facet za, o, odblo, zaatakował katy, to po prostu tam tylko się zdarzyło to, że Lee tam bił się z nimi i zabił tego gościa, e, a później e, grupa miała pretensję do tego Bena, że przeprowadzili go ze zarażonego, on tam wytłumaczył, że on jest zarażony, tylko po prostu obojętnie kto zginie, zmienia się w trupa i po prostu w tym momencie w zasadzie oni przyszli, więc no jakieś półtora minuty około straciliście, ale to na pewno mam nadzieję, że nie aż tak dużo. Dobra. Mm, no nie wiem. Ja bym wolał nie ryzykować. Znaczy w sumie chciałem na początku iść na farmę, ale no nie wiem, jeszcze ja bym się jeszcze zastanawiał. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy for Dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet your pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. No dobra, to ja też. No dobra. No dobra, no to idziemy na tą farmę. Znaczy na początku ja się wolałem strać, bo naprawdę chciałem sprawdzić, co się stanie, wybierzemy tą drugą opcję, bo ja w każdym odcin jakby odcinku, że tak powiem, widziałem e, tą opcję, żeby się udać na e, farmę. E, a chciałem zobaczyć, co się stanie, jak powiem, że nie udam się na farmę. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. But not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking at the drugstore. Ask me about it. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk uh. to you about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I 
grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart I of town. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh. Lily runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food. And no quite talk. frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything. Ogóle ja. ci. Eee, ta Lily i ten Katia, Duck, Kenny i Larry nie poszli, więc nie wiem o co chodzi. Who? Those look like the people who raided my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's a lot of them. Oh no, there's a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ain't at all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! What the fuck? Co on mu robi? Jezus Maria. Hej, oni go nie zauważy, nie zauważy się, obrócił i nie zauważył ich. Mm, no właśnie, mam nadzieję, że będziemy bezpieczni. On ten go skraszował. Uuu, jaka ładna farma. Ooh. Here it is. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Mm. Let's keep some out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, to dużo w sumie. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Wystarczająco dużo, żeby usmażyć trupka. Uh. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. <sighs> Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. 
Okej, okay, więc Carly i Ben poszli po resztę, a my tutaj zostajemy. Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help. Andy, czy jak się tam było na imię? I'm gonna go drop off the generators before they fry. Don't get me when you're ready. Some. You betcha. This place is in trouble. What the shit? It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, the fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. No, właśnie, to jest kluczowe. Musimy się upewnić. No właśnie, to jest chyba jedno z kluczowych zadań, które musimy zrobić. Okej. Okay. Mm. Brama. Ładne to miejsce. How many rooms does this house have? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. The family's done an amazing job keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck in their own well, we lost most of them the first night those babies showed up here. It was... When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on them. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Okay, więc porozmawialiśmy sobie z tą Brendą. Teraz warto look around wokół tego miejsca. Look around tego miejsca. O, porozmawiaj z Andy. Hey, yo! Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Hopefully, we'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are <laughs> the power of the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us? Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. 
You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okej. Okay. No dobra, więc teraz ruszmy po to ogrodzenie. U, daleko się oddaliśmy. Znaczy daleko, no, powiedzmy. Tak na perspektywie, ale to pole takie ładne, ładnie wygląda ten, ta farma tak wokół takiego całego pięknego pola. Chciałbym tak mieszkać. Bym się bawił pomiędzy trupkami. Bym usuwał je z pieczone z ogrodzenia. Fajnie by było. Nie no, żartuję, wolę takie życie jakie. Zdecydowanie. Jest miliard razy lepsze. Czy rozmowa była o Lerym? Mam nadzieję, bo ja nie chciałem nikogo te, z tych nowych urazić. Ale Lery tak, Lery tak, Lary tak. To jest prawdziwy dupek. U, dostał z strzałą. Nie żyje, ale wiecie, lepiej... Nie, nie dzielić skóry po, na niedźwiedziu. Dobra, to teraz. Teraz możemy go odrąbać, bo strzała już nam nie przeszkadza. Kenny. I see it. Okay. Ten też chyba nie żyje. Wie, le faktycznie lepiej się kieram, bo jakbyśmy mieli rękoma, no to bym lepiej nie bym mógł być jeszcze na os ugryźć. O, je druga łapka. Boom. Never get used to the smell, do you? Nope. No właśnie. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in no pretty she. good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better. Śpiącą królewnę. No do śpiącej królewny mu bardzo da, dużo brakuje. <laughs> Uważa, bo jeszcze sobie przysmażysz rączkę, Mark. No tak. On przeskoczy, ale tak delikatnie jak panienka. Okej. Okay. Dalej, dalej. Bardzo ładnie. Ba o Boże! What the fuck? What is shit? Ale Mark oberwał. Wow! No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. We had a deal. Uh. 
No to przesuń to. Och, zarobiście. Wow, ale byśmy oberwali. No help me. No, przysią. No kurde, co ja mam z tym wadzi? Aha! Okej, okay, to! No coś go blokuje, no! Ale co? No nie wiem! Aha! To! Dobra, teraz! Dobra, dobrze, że na razie... Na razie się dobrze ukrywał. O, trupek, uwaga! O, ty, panie! Chodź tu. Teraz cię przewlekę. Dobra, idziemy dalej. A oni tam coś siedzą, ja ich widzę. O, kolejny trupek. Get closer. O, ale ten żyje! Ali! Come on! Ach, zabij go! Walnij go! Jeszcze raz! Jeszcze! Kurde! O, o fuj! O nie, on się za nami ciągnie. No fucking way. Yo oh, yeah. Bardzo ładnie. Właśnie w... Aha. Oh. ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be all right. God damn it hurts. Oh, biedny Mark. Mark. O, akurat przyszedł w momencie, kiedy on dostał. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. 
What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Oroczak. Nie wiem. Ate some of the food on the way to get us. She volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. No, no, no. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. No dobra, więc na tym momencie sobie zakończę. Na razie właśnie tutaj dotarliśmy na tą farmę i zobaczymy co się będzie działo dalej. Jestem bardzo ciekawy w sumie, bo... No nie wiem, ta sytuacja tak jest podejrzana. Wszystko się powinno wyjaśnić jak znajdziemy ten ich obóz cały i prześledzimy ich tam. Czekaj, przewiń. Powrót. Czekaj, ja mam tutaj parę... Las, pułapka, motel, infekcja... Farma Este John, ogrodzenie, powrót z Le Conansesu. Ok, więc parę rozdziałów już tutaj mamy. Dobra, ale także się mam nadzieję, że ten odcinek Wam się spodobał, że miło Wam się go oglądał. I do zobaczenia w kolejnych odcinkach z The Walking Dead i innych filmów. Bye!